then started them on an IV of tax into our coffers. But it hasn't panned out. The tribals weren't businessmen nor interested in paying jobs. Can't bleed a stone, so President Tandy's plan ran aground. Now we need to expand to conquer new terrain and find new sources of tax money. That and more electricity and more clean water, pff, like that exists. The NCR kept up its expansion for years. Now it's run out of room. The economy can't adapt, so they're panicking. Well, this is top secret, so let everybody hear it as a rumor. Scouts say that there's a city far up north. Las Vegas on the old maps. People say it's still up there, untouched, just waiting out in the desert, totally pristine, a ghost town of gold. They also say there's a legendary Hoover Dam just sitting out there, full of clean water. Jameson was on his way up there when he ran into you. But before that, we need to crack this survivalist nut and free I-15. The Senate can't wait. They'll muster forces and we'll take their position. We'll figure out everything else after the dust settles. I drew up this map during the battle. Here, I'll show you where to go. It's a long, dangerous walk. Zybula is a California savage town out in the hills. There's a canyon they're holed up in where the dunes meet the foothills. They call it the Hidden City, and it's just that. Hard as hell to find. But there is an underground water line runs here to there. The savages turned off the ancient water pump, or it just broke. You'll either have to repair it or find an alternate plan of attack. Oh shit. All right. Good point. You only have to hold out till NCR arrives in a week. Then we'll get supplies in by caravan. If you can gather some volunteers, you can bring back water on foot. It'll take a while. Probably be real perilous. Unless the raiders genuinely fucked it up, it's just a matter of throwing a switch. We replaced all the electrics 20 years ago. This line doesn't feed all of LA, just part. So NCR isn't freaking out about it yet. Hell, if anything, it's buying them time to hit the crime lords. Power's not a giant concern. We've been in the dark before. But it's nice to have cool drinks and fresh food. So you'd better hurry. I don't think that's gonna happen. Not unless you're some damn wizard. All right, you have your mission? Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it. Just make sure to keep an open mind. There are a lot of ways to solve these problems. Not all of them require you to get shot up. I like your enthusiasm. Before you run out and conquer the world, how are you planning on doing it? Can't ask for better. Good luck. What is it? Thankfully, we're still free. The NCR has many spirits in one body, and too few of them agree. You'll find that our new allies will be just as quick to rob you blind as they will to force you to fight their wars. Their corporations are sniveling, greedy organizations. Their government is eager to expand their territory in order to tax tribes to death. Be wary of their kindness. While they build new roads on the paths of the old world, they make the same mistakes. I don't like it, but I'll accept his offer. If we ever hope to reach the safety of civilization, it'll be through him. The valley is enormous. It takes days to walk across it on foot and our enemies roam the skies. It'll be good to meet with my old tribal kin, the California savages. If they need help, I will gladly give it. The power plant is under siege, but it is none of my concern. Electricity is a witchcraft I do not understand. Lead the way. You there! You're the vault dweller that has the general up in arms. I need to speak with you. Please, have a seat. So, General Silverman has sent you on an important mission. I have an addition to that. 
If you're willing to listen to my proposition, I could make the venture quite profitable. If not, things could get very difficult for you. <laughs> Good. As you can tell, Silverman isn't exactly in a position to have hired you. You're not part of the organization. Let me explain to you what is really going on here. I am a senator, sent to provide oversight of Silverman's command in the past. He has a tendency to, let me think of a polite term, blatantly ignore orders. Yes, that's the polite way to phrase it. The reality is he tends to shit on congressional oversight and do whatever he pleases. You can see my dilemma. No, it makes him a rogue element. His position is bought and paid for by the taxpayers. My taxpayers. I have to rein him in before he drags us into a war. I'm going to have to ask for your cooperation in this matter. It will make my job much easier. But the NCR's forces aren't going to show up. Congress has assured it. The people need this stalemate to go on just a little bit longer. You clearly don't have the same political mind as we do. There is more at work here than the simple philosophical disagreements between Raiders and NCR. My family is part of a large organization in New Reno with a long history within the NCR. We've seen it through all of its phases, including this decades-long stalemate. We're using it as leverage across a wide theater of influence, the outcome of which is the continued survival of the NCR and our current administrator. Oh, I'm not in it. I am the mob. I'm looking for a chance to salvage this situation. My family needs the Raiders of San Bernardino for various entrepreneurial ventures. They hold stock of the largest uranium and gold mines this side of Mexico, right along the path to Reno. They also provide handy labor assets. <laughs> oh, I see where your morals land when money hits the field. Very good. We may be one of a kind yet. I'm offering a salary double of Silverman's offer. You carry out these missions for me, but you leave the Raider Warlords alive. For now. When you finish this mission to the power plant, I have a feeling you'll find a like-minded raider that may prove valuable to my plans. Talk to her. That's all I ask. Strike a deal if you're brave, but ensure she survives. Here's an advance of $500. Don't fail me. Good. Be on your way. I see you don't let anything get in your way, either. Yeah? No. The NCR is only going to use us until we're no good to them anymore. They don't owe us anything. But, if we can convince them to help us attack the Raiders and get our parents back, then sure, we'll do this. Just remember your promise. We find our tribe. That's all I care about. Later. Come on, sis. I don't got all fucking day. Yeah, come on, man. Let's go.
Head on out into the desert, kid. I've got paperwork to take care of. Come back and bug me if you need help or anything. I'll see you when you get back from your mission. I have to try to contact my ranger leaders by radio and hope they listen. Leave no survivors. Okay, take anything I have. If you give me some of your psycho, I'll pay you back. I swear. Thank you. 
die. Him what he had coming. Ha! Deserved what you got.
前はどこのものだどうした答えろ。んほら。これでわかるか野蛮人どもがアリのように山から迫ってきている。生き残りたければ、私と共に来いわたしはお前が NCR だったとしても敵とは思っていないお前は正直者だわたしも名前を教えよわたしは C の生き残りキーバ南島家の将軍だわたしたちは正義のために戦っている野蛮人どもがアリのように山から迫ってきている生き残りたければわたしと共に来い主は私を殺すためにここへ送ったが私はこんなところで死ぬつもりはない私と手を組めさもなければ殺す奴らは血に飢えている壁を守りながら戦え See, you don't let anything get in your way either. Sweetie, leave that messy business to Eric.
messages is to Eric. I'm not written out after all. Can anyone catch that number of that train that just hit me? Fuck. お前はすご腕の戦士だ。私はお前を称えよう。奴らは砂漠の土地に住む原始人の部族で、カリフォルニアの野蛮人だ。奴らは何年もレイダースを殺す機会を待っていた。私は C帝国生き残りのキーマン
I'll see you when you get back from your mission. I have to try to contact my ranger leaders by radio and hope they listen. Hey, kid. What can I do you for? Ah, Christ, kid. You'd think I'd made lieutenant or something. Front lines are starting to sound friendly. Ever since we lost the highway, HQ's been hounding us for details. At first, it was after action reports, casualty lists, stock inventory. But then they started calling in recount forms, troop testimonies, weather reports. They asked us to poll the boys on how they're feeling. It took not three days for them to turn critical tasks into thinly veiled busy work. Stuff to keep us at our desks and away from the action. I've seen it before. The bureaucrats are at work on the home front. Bean counting, influencing policy, wasting time. They buy their seats, you see. They pay to be part of the show, draw lines on the maps, play general for a day. Honestly, it ends up getting my boys killed. You did? Well, hot damn. I'll be more impressed when you hand me some details. Have at me. Oh, yeah? What's her name? The she-she has a reputation out here, kid. I expected you to know that, but then again, you're not really from these parts. If she wants a deal, you must have kicked some serious ass on her side. That crazy ghost bitch has killed a lot of troopers over the years. People say she's an assassin, bred for war. She lost her husband and became a killer. They say Els Dragon's got her kid held hostage, holding her chain. I don't know what's true or what's rumor. You got any proof she's the real one? <laughs> well, that's some crazy bullshit. You sure it's her? We've seen more than one dead imposter over the years. <laughs> no. But it's not a matter of what I want. It's NCR security at risk. Look. You take Ranger Vargas out on her little excursion and see what the she-she wants. You get the truth out of her and you've done us a service. But odds are, crazy lady's gonna want to put a hole in our heads just as soon as look our way. So you watch your back. I say you grab Vargas and go have a look-see at our new Raider friend's deal. See what you can make of her motives. Vargas isn't part of the NCR. Not yet. She will be if she keeps saving our ass. That's the price of being nice to the Republic. A desk job. But for now, you and her operate outside our laws. And away from the politics. You two figure out a plan and see where it takes you. I'll call it in upstairs. See if I can get you some back-end support. Go talk to Vargas and set up the deal. Then see if it works out. Good plan. Have at it. I overheard you chatting with Jameson. Do you really trust that she warlord? If the wind is right, my hearing is augmented with specialized training. Secrets and whispers call to me. Uh-huh, right. It's brave, and probably more of a benefit to us than she realizes. Maybe the she-she finally got tired of Els Dragon groping her lady bits. I don't think she's the kind of woman that takes duty and responsibility lightly. She's killed enough of us to prove herself a worthy opponent. Of course not. I trust her to be untrustworthy and vile. Beyond that, there really isn't much to expect other than violence. If she can get me into that mine, that's all we need. I know how to take care of myself once inside. I'll wait for a signal to strike. Rangers have their colonels, too. I have orders to carry out. Mine involves Athens Tech. If that helps you at the same time, then we can be friends. I'll help you with your mission until you report me to the She, then head to Athens Tech. Who knows? Maybe we'll both end up inside that mine. If you get caught. Or do something stupid.
こいつはベアの親族ではない彼女は東の平原に住むレンジャーのコートを着ているエルスドラゴンもバカではないレンジャーの裏切りを疑うはずだなぜ彼女をここへ連れてきた、うん、コートの下のドックタグを見ろ多分彼女が愛した、うん、これでいいエルスドラゴンに引き渡そう彼女は町を襲った作戦の時に捕まえた奴隷と一緒に待機させればいいもし奴隷が逃げても私の責任ではない私は娘を助けてここを去るよくやったこれからもいろいろなことがやれそうだいつの日か互いの敵を倒すことも可能だろう Alright I'll see you in Athens check if you pass through that way I don't know why you would, but I'll be there. You're back. How'd things go? Excellent. I have a feeling this will come in handy pretty soon. Keep up the good work, kid. After you finish the next mission, come back and talk to me. We may need to get into Athens Tech, and now we have a way in. Hey there. Got word from Silverman that there's another job in the works. Better wrap up your mission and report back. <laughs> 